Good day, folks. My name is George, and my call sign is Whiskey 2 Sierra Foxtrot Delta. As you can see right there, Whiskey 2 Sierra Foxtrot Delta. I'm going to come to you today, and I'd like to give you a little tutorial on how to change your call sign lookups on your QRZ.com page. It's the database that we all use to check each other out. It's kind of like our own little web uh, web page out there in the amateur radio world on the interwebs. So you're going to go to QRZ.com, the fine job they do. You'll log in. The login information's up here. You're going to go over here once you're logged in to your call sign. You go down here to edit. Mine's W2SFD, obviously. Yours is going to be whatever your call sign is. And you're going to click down. Oh, wait, let me show you my page first so I can prove to you that you can edit this. 42,646 is my lookups. That's my actual lookups. I choose not to edit that because I want to see how many people have looked me up. I kind of think that's neat when you're working uh, a DX pileup and, and, and your fellow amateur radio operators are kind of checking you out to learn a little bit about you because I certainly do check you guys out. So then you'll go over here. You go to edit your call sign. Go to the update the basic call sign data. Click that. Skip over this. Okay. Once you update your FCC uh, database information, if you have an address change, a license class change, or anything, a name change, uh, this will get updated directly from the FCC when QRZ.com uh, hits their database. You'll go down here, though. Instead of having 42,646, I want one. We'll start all over. So instead of 42,646, we'll save that. And to prove that you can edit it, there's my lookups. Two. I'll refresh the page. Two lookups. And that, my fellow amateur radio operators, is how you change your amateur radio lookups on QRZ.com for whatever reason. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy DX and 7-3 from W2SFD.